Elon Musk. Good guy? Bad guy? Who is he? He's his own man. He's his own man. And he's an unpredictable guy, yet predictable. Areas he's predictable in. He's not compromising his vision. He's a true believer. He's not for money. He could care less about the money. He got the money stuff when he bought the P1, when he got his first million and, you know, he did what he did. This is not a money guy. This is a vision guy. Uh, this guy put his career and his business ahead of everything else he was doing to the point where he's like, I can't even be married having kids because I'm not going to be a great father because my babies are, you know, uh, yeah. Neuralink and Tesla and all this other stuff. He's super necessary. Imagine you're worth $300 billion. You choose to buy a company that's in shambles for $44 billion and you're, you're a rock star, you're a hero, you're an, you're an Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr. playing you, the real life mm -hmm. Iron Man. And, you know, you, you're getting the women, you have the nor notoriety, you're on every single magazine, you're being picked up everywhere. One thing you say, you got 150 million followers. And then you said, yeah, if we want to save America, we have to vote Republican. What? What? So what's his why? He calls himself a humanist. Okay. He calls himself a humanist. His fear is with AI. His fear is... Uh, have you seen this movie, Creator, that came out? What do you think about it? Uh, I have been on the bandwagon of, uh, of fear of AI for uh, quite some time. Creator, I watch and I think, oh, that's kind of a happy story. If you, if you forget about uh, that every tank said United States of America and we were the bad guys, how that's being imaged... Uh, and how it's being imaged that it's wonderful and genuine and real and will connect us. There's a possibility. There is also the real possibility that it is our superior and we become ants. He's not a fan of that. Just so you know, he's not a fan of that. You know what he says? At what the, do you think? Of, of what? Of AI and creator? Yeah. I thought everybody, need, I think everybody needs to go watch, don't waste your money with Napoleon. Go oh, watch yeah. Creator. Creator is gonna get is gonna get you thinking. You will cry. You will be angry. You'll experience every emotion you should in a movie. But there's a quote in Elon's book. I think it's the last chapter that says Elon likes to take the fiction out of science fiction. What a quote! Yeah. What a quote. So this guy wants to have you watch a movie and say, "Oh, I just watched a science fiction movie. That ain't no science fiction, man. That's a yeah. science movie." Yeah because it's now real. He, he, a famous quote back in the days by a German philosopher said, if a lion could speak, we could not understand them. Not everybody's gonna understand lions. They speak yeah. a different language. And we, we don't have to fully understand every time a lion opens their mouth. But it's good to be 80% optimistic, 20% skeptical and say, okay, we'll see. So far, we'll see, we'll see. The, the we'll see lens of stain, a little paranoid, it's, it's necessary today with everybody. CBDC, uh, going to happen or a conspiracy theory? It's inevitable. It's inevitable. How long? Yeah. I mean, the way, the, 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 the gradual way they did it during COVID where you needed a COVID passport to yeah. go around, that was a great test. It, yeah. it accelerated the process by, by years, maybe decades, yeah. on what it did. And, and more and more people are starting to be receptive to it and look look what's happening so so imagine like a picture perfect argument for me to give you to move to cbdc do you see what spf did here's mm -hmm. a guy that was the jp morgan chase of our lifetime according to jim kramer is going to jail for this this that 33 billion dollar company and he's gone yeah but you know cz from uh, uh you know binance he's a good guy he's a good guy nope cz are you okay with CZ from Binance allowing terrorists to, you know, move money around? This is exactly why we need to regulate and not decentralize. They, they have, it's being oh, yeah. served like this oh, to yeah. scare the hell out of the, yeah. you know, the, the, the consumer to say, this is why we, we're here. Glenn, we're going to save you. We're the government. We're going to take care. It's going to be all right. Don't worry about it. Go to sleep good tonight. We'll take care of it. We're smart people. We're caring we're noble. We're going to make the right decision. Mm -hmm. So, look, do I think it's going to happen in the next 12, 24 months? I don't know. Do I think it's going to happen? Absolutely. It's just they need the next crisis to accelerate the process. Yes. And that could end up being power grid because it's power grid is something a lot of people are not talking about. The power grid, 
75% of our power grid in America hasn't been updated or touched for 25 years. Mm-hmm. You know what happens if somebody, by the way, our Security Council from the U.S. government says China, Russia, and other countries have and the ability hacking. to destroy into our, wait, what? And, and how much investment do we make out of the $1.6 trillion into this? Oh, we put $8.9 billion. <laughs> what? $8.9 billion? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, so there's a lot of things to be um, cautious about. Cautious about. I think you got to be today.